Okay, we're gonna change the color of this garage. Um, it's stained right now. So what we need to do is uh, strip off the old coating, get down to some uh, a good new canvas, and then we're gonna put a colored epoxy. There's different kinds of epoxy you can put over it. You can do a color flake epoxy, a color epoxy, metallic epoxy, and many other things can be done with that, but we're just gonna go with a colored epoxy over this one. So what I need to do is strip the paint off there to not only get off the old paint, but to, to, to prep the concrete. And I'm going to use a shot blaster for that. It shoots out little beads of steel and it re you know, recycles it so it's not going everywhere. And it, it not only strips the paint, but will also profile my concrete so that my epoxy will go on there and last. So this is my shot blaster. And I have a vacuum, a double filtered vacuum that looks up to it so it makes it dustless. And uh, pretty much it's, just, it's like a little shotgun. I'm going to be just shooting little tiny BBs at the surface to, to strip that off. Okay, now I've completely stripped this floor with a shot blaster, my grinder, just some good old-fashioned scrubbing, and now it's ready to, to get blown off and, and vacuumed, which I've just completed. And uh, now it's ready for its epoxy. So we'll get a nice good bond because it's profiled properly. Okay, now that I have this garage floor prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my colored epoxy. And uh, it's a two-component epoxy, so you'll mix it together for two minutes. Uh, I have my uh, handy brush and roller. I'm going to use my brush for my expansion joints and for the edges and then I'll go ahead and roll out the big areas. Okay and before you put your epoxy coat down, your colored epoxy, you're going to want to make sure it's nice and clean after it's prepped. And, and then I'm, I use a paintbrush and a roller so I'm going to edge with my paintbrush. I'm going to do the expansion joints and all the edges and then that way I can just go over with my roller and, and do the main body of it. Now you want it to dry for about 12 hours, it depends on which epoxy you're using. Um, I use a two com component epoxy and uh, I usually wait till the next day before I put my urethane over the top of that. And okay, now that I have my epoxy coat down in this garage, I'm going to go ahead and put my two part urethane coat over it. And uh, same deal, it's an A and B component, mix it together for two minutes and uh, edge and roll just like I did with the epoxy. After your urethane coat's down, you're going to want to wait 48 hours before you put any car traffic on there or drag anything heavy across that. And sometimes it may take longer depending on the temperature. You never want it to be freezing overnight when you're doing you know, any epoxy or concrete overlays, but uh, usually about 48 hours. 